YouTube, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Jamie Paradox. Guys, I'm bringing you guys a quick video on the absolute best driver to use for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Video has been really, really busy putting out hot fixes and new drivers and updates and all that kind of thing. And it's been a little confusing for people on our timeline, and we're seeing a lot, a lot of complaints. So we thought it'd be best to kind of make a quick video as well as put out a thread on Twitter and Instagram and kind of explain what we think is the go-to move. All right, guys. So as you can see, I am currently on my desktop and my PC is running on the driver version 522.25, which up until today was the best driver for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The only problem with it is after today, they put out their latest version. It kind of gave you this weird error where it would kind of show up a pop-up when you opened MW2 and it said, hey, this driver is outdated. It's not going to function properly. And obviously that means that they're trying to push people away from this driver. So they want everybody to update the latest one. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to update to the latest driver, the best way to do it, and how to fix any weird problems that you guys may be having with the new driver because there is a little bit of issues with it. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and open up my GeForce experience here. And you guys can see that I'm currently not on the newest driver. I can still download here. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And while I do that, Go over to my settings. You guys can see, like I said, I'm on driver version 522.25. So this again, up until today, was the best driver to use. It wasn't causing any micro stutters. It wasn't causing any flashing in game. It wasn't causing any scan repair. And it was honestly probably just the best, most efficient. It was still having some issues, but it was definitely the most stable version of a driver for MW2. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the express installation version, which is probably the best way to do this. Just safest, easiest way you don't make any mistakes. Prepare to install this. And an issue that a lot of people are encountering with this new driver is the game won't open properly. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few different ways to fix that if I encounter the issues. If I don't, I'll still walk you through them, but I might be able to show you kind of a more in-depth view right here. All right. Now, as you guys can see here, we have successfully installed the latest driver. It is what we are running on our computer now. Um, you can see here, 526.86 installed. Um, we got the audio driver and all that stuff set up. Now we're going to go ahead and click our settings and you can see that is the driver version that our PC is currently running on. So we're going to go ahead and open up Modern Warfare 2 and see if we encounter any issues and see if we can solve them rather quickly. Okay, it actually looks like we're not going to be encountering any issues here, which is good. It means they either went ahead and fixed what was causing them initially or I just got a lucky download. You never really know. One thing to note is your shaders are going to have to redo themselves anytime you update your drivers. So as you can see in the top left corner, 1% shader might take a little bit of time here just to get it all updated and that kind of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is good here. Plug in my controller to make sure that this screen doesn't work. And it actually looks like I got no error messages, which is kind of a good thing. Um, maybe not for the sake of the video, but just kind of to show that maybe they put out something that has caused some fixes. Um, but no, it looks like I'm good to go aside from my shaders. So one thing to note, if you were encountering issues where your game wouldn't start properly or you were stuck in a loop or anything like that, we have three fixes that has been working for everybody we've spoken to so far. The first one is trying to run the game as an administrator. That has caused a lot, a lot of people to fix their issues. So just try that. And if it doesn't work, the second thing we recommend is restarting your computer. So if you can't fix it by starting as admin and you can't fix it by restarting your PC. The last thing is to, once you get the error message, actually go ahead and do the scan repair and let it scan your computer and repair. And that was actually causing a lot of people to also fix their issues. So that's about all we got for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, please not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video.